Even though it's a few blocks away, the White House was front and center at this year's March for Life. The event featured everything from a speech from the president to a youth rally featuring the vice president's daughter, Charlotte. The pro-life issue is the human rights issue of our day. You said in your speech yesterday that you felt like this issue is a human rights issue. I've also heard you call it a social justice issue. Can you um, explain why that is? But I think that you can see social justice in a lot of different ways. Um, it's really just um, making sure that everybody has equal access, um, which I do think that um, abortion inherently takes away access to an unborn child. Um, it automatically um, puts them in an unequal status. Um, but I think that the pro-life movement isn't always perfect um, in being kind and compassionate. The second daughter says her decision to speak out on abortion isn't political. I often kind of joke with people that I'm not very political, which they tell me, you know, I'm in the wrong family for that. The administration and the movement have been accused of being more anti-abortion than pro-life. One of the things I've noticed um, inside the pro-life movement is this push toward going beyond what they call pro-birth. Uh, mm -hmm caring for things like the immigrant, caring for Medicaid expansion and paid maternity leave. Mm -hmm. Do you think the pro-life community needs to expand its message beyond just abortion? I do think that um, one of the, the biggest criticisms of the pro-life movement is that, oh, you care about the child before it's born and not after. Um, and I think that um, if Roe versus Wade is overturned, I think the pro-life um, cause doesn't stop. I think that it's accelerated. I think that that's when the real task of providing options to people and providing support to people really begins. Anti-abortion leaders like the Susan B. Anthony list say Mike Pence and his conservative history were factors in winning over members of the movement who weren't so sure about candidate Trump. Four years ago, Donald Trump didn't have a record on the life issue. In 2020, he became the first sitting president to speak at the March for Life. The SBA list is now vowing to dedicate $52 million from a super PAC to his re-election, citing his appointment of more than 150 conservative judges across the judicial system. Much to the dismay of pro-abortion groups like Planned Parenthood, who say Trump's judicial footprint could restrict rights and freedoms for generations. According to a January 2020 Gallup poll, a majority of Americans are dissatisfied with the nation's abortion laws, with 22 percent who favor less strict laws and 24 percent who feel they should be stricter. It's an issue bound to fire up voters ahead of the election. Win or lose, Charlotte Pence says she will continue with the movement. For me, I really am passionate about the issue of abortion, um, but I'm also very passionate just about helping people um, come forward and talk about it and not feel judged, which I think can be um, just a really tricky thing.